next, how well do you know your etiquette, past and present? We're going to put you to the text coming up next. This morning, we're going into the past a little bit. Diane Gottsman is our etiquette expert, and we're talking about etiquette past and present. It's very good to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Are you ready, girls? We are. Yes. I don't know. Are you we're going to we? do a little bit of a quiz here to see how well we know etiquette, right? That's right. Okay. And oh some boy. of these questions are like from like caveman days. So these, and, and they might even be a little superstitious okay. in here too. Okay. So are you ready? We're going to start with you, Shelly. I'm ready. And she does not know the answers, okay? No. Or nor does Claudia. No. no. Okay. Okay. M medieval lore mm -hmm. says that when you were eating your porridge way back when, mm -hmm. okay, and okay. you dropped your spoon at the table, A, it says you would meet your future husband, mm -hmm. B, you are bearing child, mm -hmm. or C, you will soon have an unexpected visitor. It means I need to get a, a new spoon because <laughs> the other one fell on the floor and I'm That's not right. to touch it. And the protocol is that a trick question? You leave it down on the floor at <laughs> a restaurant. Right. Okay, that's the etiquette tip. This These is are a superstition. What's okay. the real answer? Are you, the real answer is you will soon have an unexpected visitor. Really? Superstition. Okay. That's not etiquette. But <laughs> it was kind of fun. Okay, I was Claudia. I clueless on that one. <laughs> okay, Claudia. Okay. If you lived in the 18th century and you were planning your dinner menu, <laughs> it would huh. show good breeding if... You, A, served oysters on the half shell, B, served ostrich, or C, served anything with turtle. Oh, my gosh. Really? <laughs> Nowadays, I wouldn't have served any of them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Ready? Pick turtle. Something with turtle. Did, did you turtles, see? Good no, luck. but turtles are old. Oh, they lived back yeah. then. That was my Probably theory. something with turtle. turtle. Okay, next. Okay, you're turtle right. Is oh, the turtle. Okay, yeah. Turtle is the answer. I can help. Thank what you, Shelly. I'm here for you. What was the first definition of a trencher? A, a round or square piece of wood. B, a round piece of bread. C, a small piece of smooth metal made from a shield in medieval days. Uh, shield? No, I just led you to say that. <laughs> to me. It's a rounded piece of bread, and that is the that was a rounded medieval. Piece of bread yes. used to be called a trencher. a trencher, and you it was a plate. You used it as a plate, and that's how they ate their meal. Wait a in minute, in a plate. You ate on a piece of bread. You ate in a rounded piece of bread. Oh, we really? should have brought one in. They, do that. they do that sometimes nowadays, yeah. like in soup shops. They'll there give you a go. piece of bread. That's true. I'll say yes. I would like a trencher <sighs> full of. Um, broccoli cheddar soup. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, next, girls. Okay. okay. In Victorian days, when a woman approached a flight of stairs, she would. Okay, Claudia, this is yours. So, if you lived in Victorian days and you approached a flight of stairs, uh -huh. you would hold your hand out for assistance from a gentleman. You would allow the gentleman to go in front of you, or Victorian ladies don't climb stairs. <laughs> I would allow the gentleman to, to go, go in front, front of me. Yes. Of course. Absolutely. Yes. Really? Yes. Because you don't want him first. behind you. <laughs> oh. But I had a big puffy skirt on, so we can't really see okay. anything. Okay. This is now. Okay. All right. You ready? Wait. Uh, hold on. I have to sneeze again. It's coming. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah, Wait for it. I've already given her the etiquette of the sneeze. Left shoulder, left hand. It's coming. That's the right Wait. hand. Too much pressure. Left. <laughs> it's going to go away. <laughs> I have a cold. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait. Wait. I'll let you know if it comes back. That's now protocol. The <laughs> etiquette of a sneeze is this does was not planned. <laughs> Left hand, left shoulder, ah chew or cough, cough. But really? that means it's by me. So go in your sleeve. I this way. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you. Oh, me. Drinking okay. hard liquor at the table. This is today. Drinking hard liquor at the table is a sign of prestige and influence. True or false? false. Go on. Go false. for it. False. false. Yeah. Because you know why? You want to have lighter liquor at the table so it doesn't overpower the food. Right. You know, light Wine. wines or yes. yes, yes. So you want to mm -hmm. leave your hardcore gin and tonic okay. at the at the sofa where you were drinking it. I think that's okay. interesting. Okay. If you re Claudia, okay. if you must remove gristle from your mouth at uh -huh. the table, this is you a, tough a spit it out on the fork. Oh. B, remove it with your finger and thumb, index finger and thumb, or C, spit it into your napkin. Oh, the, the <laughs> index finger and thumb, of course. Yes! <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Wait, you take it out of your mouth? Like well, that? you don't do this. Well, no, you, okay. You, okay, you Just show discreetly it. index finger and thumb, cover it with your other hand, and place it someplace on your table. Oh, <clears> this <throat> is a big one. You don't put <laughs> it into your napkin? No. no. Why Then not? you leave a big 
piece of grease on the crotch it's of your present. clothing. It's a present for someone. We move on. Okay. <laughs> a name, you, this is an easy one for you. Okay. We've talked about this a thousand times. You better get this right. Okay. okay. A name tag <laughs> is worn on the left shoulder, true or false? Ooh, I don't know this on one. The, like my left? Your right left, here? a left shoulder, true or false? False. That's right. How come? Because it goes on the right shoulder. To follow the line of sight of a handshake. Correct. Correct. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't Claudia. know that. Okay. It's mannerly for the man to enter the back of a cab before you. So Michael would enter the back of the cab before you. Let he would a, hop in. Let me get a visual. He would roll in. <laughs> no, this can't be right. Like he goes in before I do? Yes. False. Okay, it's actually true. What? Uh, and and does it have to do with the skirt again? It has to do with the <gasps> fact that you're in a skirt, a, you know, a, a business suit. You don't want to crawl in and then scoot Flash all the way over. the rest of the so world. So he's going to yeah. get in and he's going to say, Claudia, let me get in first. So you can get in, you know, discreetly left. And then when he opens the door, you open the door, you're closest to the curb. Or he could walk around and, and brave his life in traffic, you know, oh, let wow. you in, and then walk around. But huh. he's taking his life in his own hands. Go, well, girl! We all learned something this morning. <laughs> I know where the gristle goes, and you know how to get into a, a cab. cab. Thank you, and you know where to sneeze. I do know where to sneeze. When wow, it comes, I'll that's you know. really cool. Okay. Always good to see you. Diane Gottsman is an etiquette expert with the Protocol School of Texas. It's psotx.com, diangottsman.com, or give her a call at 826 7400